One Health is an interdisciplinary approach to optimizing the health of humans, animals, and the environment. Many of the diseases that humans get are also shared by animals, and by studying these diseases in an interdisciplinary way, we can be much more successful in improving the health both of the companion animals and humans. These multidisciplinary approaches are catching on, and I think fundamentally because it makes sense. I work with conditions that can be interposed between rodent research and human clinical studies, facilitating and optimizing translational research. Fluffy and Rover get arthritis and cancer. To the extent to which you can study pain within an existing uh, painful syndrome, this is greatly preferable to trying to do the sort of pain modeling that we're used to doing in rodents. The discovery of a gene mutation in cats that is similarly implicated in humans really helped to strengthen that connection between that particular gene and hypertrophic cardiomyopathy. That led to the idea that we could come together and work on projects together that would benefit not just the, the animals, but ultimately we hope the humans with the disease. One of the benefits of the Knights Landing One Health Clinic concept and project that we have here is that the medical students and the undergraduates will be exposed to the concept and really get to understand it. We have joint rounds every morning before the clinic. So we come together faculty, students in veterinary and human medicine, and we discuss One Health topics. It's really One Health in action. It really allows that concept of One Health to be um, practical, being put into place uh, to help the community, but also emphasize that human-animal bond. Being part of the One Health Clinic really gives us medical and nursing and veterinary students a great opportunity to learn from each other. I think the One Health initiative is off to a strong start. The critical benefit of the One Health program is to create connections between veterinary sciences and uh, human medical sciences that would not necessarily have occurred by themselves. I do think it's catching on and I think when you sit down and you have the conversation, it's a no-brainer. But it's not intuitive to everybody and so it's still something that requires a lot of education. This work is really exciting because it offers the opportunity to work with colleagues in many different disciplines and it gives us a real opportunity to solve these very challenging problems that affect people and companion animals.